Hey Sagittarius, this is TC, your guiding chariot. Welcome to your April prediction video. This is going to be a general reading for all Sages, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, my only ask of you, since this is going to be a general reading, is that you take the reading as it resonates. Um, if there are bits that don't jive or don't fit your scenarios, that message just wasn't meant for you. So take the pieces that do resonate, leave behind the rest. Um, because of that, I do recommend that you watch the videos for all of your signs. If you don't know your, pretty much everyone knows their sun sign, if you don't know your moon or your rising, you can have a natal chart done for you for free online. I usually recommend Astrolab or astrologycafe.com. Um, you just put in your info, it'll tell you everything you need to know, then you can come back and watch. Um, there's really no wrong way. You could watch your Venus video, especially looking to see about love. You could watch your Jupiter video. Um, those would be good ones as well. I personally always watch my sun and my rising. Um, definitely the ones I connect to the most. So do with that information what you will. Um, but with that said, let's tilt the camera down. Let's get started. So if you are new, I do have a couple decks out. So I have some oracle decks. I have a tarot deck. My tripod wants to be a little silly. That's a choice you could make. Kind of. There we go better. Alright, um, so I have a couple oracle decks. We're going to use these to get a peek at different aspects of your month and then we'll get your main message at the end from a tarot spread. Alright, Sag. Alright, Spirit, who is helping Sagittarius as they grow and evolve spiritually and personally through the month of April? Alright, so Sag, you guys got Green Terra, Supreme Protection. Prompt reads, you are protected, cords are being cut, move beyond limitation and trust. So, with this card, I do think you are dealing with something, Sag. Um, and when I say dealing with something, I don't necessarily mean drama or anything like that. I don't see that coming with this card. But I feel like you are kind of... I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna put it this way. I feel like you're kind of battling an old demon. You know, like there's a situation maybe popping up that maybe you've encountered before, like it's kind of a bit of a habit. Could be in relationships, could be in work, but I feel like something is coming up again that's kind of helping to bring your attention to it. Um, almost in a sense so that it can be released. Um, like the card said, cords are being cut. So these connections to these kind of repeating cycles or these repeating patterns are trying to be removed from your life. And it is helping you to level up, so to speak, or to free yourself from this cycle. So beautiful, beautiful card. To me, this is coming up kind of saying that, hey, you know, you do have some, some divine protection and a companion as you're going through this situation. So if it does start to feel heavy, if it starts to feel overwhelming, to me, this card is coming up like, you need help, just ask for it, because help is there. Trust that whatever you're going through is to your benefit. It may not feel super comfortable, but know that you have help, know that you're protected, and know that it's getting you to a better place. All right? All right, Spirit, what is Sag going through? What does Sag need to know about love and relationships for the month of April? Hi, Kiana. What's up, baby? Oh, are you sad you're cut off from your brother? Is that what's happening? All right, so love this. So you guys are kind of a, on a roll relationship-wise. Here you have chemistry. Um, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. I feel like this is for my, I want to say this is for my single Sages or Sages that have like recently come together. Um, not saying that my sages that are in a relationship that, that this doesn't apply to you. But I feel like this is definitely confirmation for those of you who are starting to build a relationship, you know, or kind of just made first contact. To me, this card is coming up as confirmation. April is just a chance to explore it and expand it and go deeper with it. Which, beautiful energy. Who doesn't want that, right? A little extra chemistry never hurt nobody. <laughs> All right, Spirit, 
What does Sag need to know about work and finances for the month of April? Whoa, that was fun. I wonder if a lot of finances are going into this relationship. You saw that? The card just like slid right to that card. Maybe you're buying a lot of things because of this relationship, buying a lot of gifts, maybe going out. That could be a thing. Maybe you need to be aware of that. So work and finances for Sag. Oh, nope, we're gonna take the first one. That was a really high one. Yes, ma'am. I'm talking to my to my little kitten down here. She's rolling around under the table. Look at that. So ten of swords. What are we worried about at work? Okay. Well, technically, when I took it out, we had it this way, which is nice. But what? So ten of air is equal to the ten of swords. So this is. I'm fighting myself on it. So I was gonna say death because a lot of times that's what this card talks about. It's like a defeat or an ending, you know, and not necessarily the greatest ending. You know, it can be kind of painful. Um, but I almost want to say betrayal was coming through more so than death. So I don't necessarily think you're being defeated, but I think you know someone is, you know, misbehaving, so to speak. Interpret that how you will. But since we did get the Ten of Air in reverse, I actually like this. So I do think you've been dealing with something, could be someone or just an environment um, concerning work, that I don't think, I don't necessarily think it's ending as in you're leaving or quitting or someone's quitting, but I think some situation is, is, is reaching, you know, it's culminating, so to speak. Whatever, whatever issue you've been dealing with is kind of, it's like coming full circle and you're finally gonna wrap it up and be done with it, which I think is beautiful. And I say that because it came reversed, it came upside down. So it's kind of almost like if we had swords in this image, it's like the swords are falling out, so to speak. Um, you know, especially when you look at it upside down, it almost looks like the feathers are falling away from her. So it's that same kind of idea. So, not saying it's going to be the most comfortable at work this month, but I do think the events of this month help to wrap up some situation that has brought you some stress. Um, I want to say, because the word betrayal came through, I want to say this is going to be an individual, and I want to say it's a, I think it's a solo person. Um, you know, I'm going to hold it upright for just a second. You can kind of see, hopefully this will focus. But you can see the figure in the card is like blowing the feathers away. Right? It's almost making me think, you know, Sagittarius, you guys always speak the truth. So I feel like your words this month are going to be very powerful. And powerful in a way where you're, you're going to be the one bringing about this ending. You know, through, you know, laying down the law or voicing your opinion. Something's going on with, with your spoken word. Something you say is going to help to wrap up and end whatever this this little dramatic behavior is. All right, all right. So, what is the most important message for Sages for April? I'm gonna go backwards just so it looks, just so it reads left to right for you guys. Oh, baby. <laughs> She's being silly over there. Oh, all right, four of pentacles. So, we talked about some finances. We even talked about, you know, spending a lot of money on this, this little new relationship going on. So four of pentacles talks about the need to be saving. Um, I feel like this could happen, this could kind of be manifesting multiple ways. So yes, saving in a sense where we're saving money, we're saving resources, we're trying to build a little nest egg, possibly. I keep looking at, there's like a, there's like a, here, you guys can't see that. 
there's almost like a wheel of helixes, like the little genetic code in a circle right here. I don't know if you can see that. But I keep staring to that. Like I almost feel like you're trying to save yourself, if that makes sense. Like you're, you're trying not to like drain your energy. You're not trying to expend so much energy into something which could totally be this work situation, whatever's going on here, trying to like stay out of it you know, keep things light, keep things clean. I don't think you're gonna have that opportunity this month because something needs to be wrapped up and it will. So something's gonna come to a head and you're gonna squash it. So I get where this is coming from, but I don't think you're gonna have the luxury of that moment. Just saying. Queen of Pentacles. So very grounded, lots of earth energy so far. Queen of Pentacles, to me, this is you worrying about yourself again kind of trying to save yourself, save your energy, protect yourself. Here you have the Queen of Pentacles worrying about your physical body. This is gonna be health, wellness, rest, diet. This is also very grounded, very stable, so possibly trying to keep yourself centered, not get lost in, you know, maybe not get lost in this, not get lost, you know, in the drama or just kind of keeping it together while you go through whatever whatever this situation is. Ah, ha, ha. Prince of Swords, middle of the month. So middle of the month, I think at least one of these things finally comes to a head and you get called to action. Beginning of the month, saving your energy, storing up, preparing, strengthening up. By the time this kicks in, and I say middle of the month because it's the middle of the spread, but honestly, time is fluid. This could happen at any point. This could have passed. This could be coming up. It could happen tomorrow. So take the time things as it resonates for you. But at some point, this is where you get called to action, where whatever's going on has messed with this balance. So now you must act. Now something must be said. Now something must be done about it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and it's going to be a bit of a battle. So here you are with Nine of Wands. And again, when I say battle, this isn't like a Five of Swords or, you know, where you're like actually going to arms. Nine of Wands is really a, to me, it's actually a pretty sturdy place. Sorry about that. Um, Nine of Wands is really about standing your ground, holding firm. You know, and I talked about with this kind of word, like you laying down the law, like you, whatever position you have, you know, the, the key to success is really holding it, not wavering. Um, does that mean if someone has an opinion that you can't, you know, maybe work it in or at least reflect upon it? Of course not, you know, but I'm just saying whatever your vision is, whatever your stance is on whatever the situation is, stay firm in it. Because I don't see this as a block. Oh, talked about the five of swords. Here it is. <laughs> All right, so yes, maybe a little bit of conflict coming up towards the back half of the month. Um, and again, you are standing your ground. Some people aren't gonna like that. Definitely feel that, that situation coming through with your 10 of air. Look at that. And at the very end, you have the star. Hope, optimism, guiding light. You know, this is also the card for Aquarius, so maybe dealing with an air sign or an Aquarius could totally be a thing. But to me, this is hope optimism beautiful thing for you you know you guys as the archer you shoot the arrow to wherever your aim is you set the goal this is your goal shoot your arrow here keep your eye on the sticking point all right that's to me that's what this star card is really showing you all right so beginning half of the month looks like it's pretty chill things are gonna go pretty routinely maybe you get to enjoy some of this that'll be fun you know, maybe warming up for this situation. This back half, you know, put your armor on. You're gonna be, you're gonna be going to go into war for a little bit. And like I said, the fact that you're taking this nine of wands stance, it's not so much you're going out and fighting. It's a lot of it is going to be holding firm and holding your ground. You know, you know, if you're like, I'm gonna just use an example that I can think of. Um, you know, say if you're the boss of a company, you have an employee who's acting around or, you know, misbehaving or, or not taking orders. That's really where this battle is. This is you laying your foot down, be like, hey, you know what's expected of you. You know the rules. I laid them out. This is what you need to, you know, be following so that we're working together. 
and not, you know, you're on your own team versus me on my own team versus so-and-so on their own team. Like, we need to work together. This is how we're going to function. I need you to be on board. They may not take that very well, or they may be passive-aggressive, or they may have some type of comment on that. You know, there's going to be some type of pushback. I'm not going to say it's going to go over super smooth. But again, the key is you holding your ground, not giving in to whoever is causing all this drama. Because again, you have the light. You have your eye on the finish line. You're the one who can see down this path, not them. So hold firm to this. All right? Whew. All right. Interesting, exciting, and active month ahead for you, Sag. Starting off real grounded with a lot, a lot of earth, holding it down, and then we get to some swords and fire where you really have to get into your more assertive, dominant aspects um, as you go through the back half of the month. You can do it though, again, this is gonna be eyes on the prize. That's gonna be how you get out of it. Whether this is work, whether this is, you know, whatever personal situation that you're kind of working through, you know, whatever is going on know how you feel about it, know your stance, know your belief, and stick through it. Stick to it, sorry. All right, you will get through just fine. All right, Sag, I'm gonna send you guys out. Amazing reading. I know you guys can take it, you can handle it. You're strong, you're powerful, and you're definitely already preparing for it, whether you know it or not. So, you're going to be fine. I'm sending you guys all my love, as always. Um, thank you for all the likes, the comments, subscribes, especially the comments. The best part of this channel is being being able to connect with you guys. So if you have anything to share, questions for me, drop it in the comment section below. You can also DM me on Instagram at the Guiding Chariot. And if you want to book a private session with me, all that info will be in the description box. Take care, love you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Bye!